Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back. I said this last week, memory is a tricky thing. And we're going to practice that. We in ourselves are going to be somewhat of a sketch artist. We're going to try to help ourselves. We're going to have an event occur, a crime occur, and we're going to have to remember how this person looks like. It's a tough thing to do to be an eyewitness or to be a sketch artist. You know, a lot of things can play come into effect. A lot of things can affect a person's memory. One of the main things is how long ago did this event occur? If I asked you to think about what you did one year ago today, it might be hard. Some of you may remember exactly what it is. Some of you, some of you may have to ask a parent what you did or a friend or look at a calendar or look at your phone. So again, just how much time has passed. Another thing that's gonna affect us is our age, right? If you're a little bit older, you might not remember as many, many things, or you might be, it might be easier for you to forget things. If you're really young, if you're two years old, it might be harder for you to know what everything is. You could just be at a store, but you might not know if it's a Target, a Walmart, or would you be at the mall? So your age definitely plays a role. And lastly, one of the other major things is how do you remember seeing that thing? Did you see it with your own eyes or did somebody tell you face to face? You know, somebody was telling you a little bit of cheese, some gossip, or did your friend call you, you know, over the phone? Were you doing something else while you're talking to them on the phone, right? Maybe you're trying to play some Among Us as you're on the phone chatting with them, or maybe you're watching a little bit of TikTok and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Yeah you might not be able to remember as much. But today we're gonna jump into, talk about the brain just a little bit before we jump into our activity. So think about this, your brain is built to different parts, but usually we like to think of it as two halves. So we try to split up our brain into the left brain and the right brain. And these two sides see the world differently. So the left brain, sees the world as symbols and as language. You should just start, think about words. You know, it's very descriptive. The right side of the brain sees and interprets the world as space and shapes. So you might be more of an artist, artistic, if you see it from the right side. Left brain, again, the left brain learns more vocabulary the more you read. So again, think about descriptive words. Were they round? Did they have a round head? Did they have a square head? Were they very tall? Were their eyes wide apart or really close? It's all descriptive, it's all words. Whereas artists try to turn off their left brain, right? they don't wanna use their left brain and they wanna focus on their right brain a little bit more to sketch things. Why? Well, cause they wanna use shapes. They're trying to build shapes, they're trying to build the world and they're trying to build visuals. So this right side of the brain deals more with images. Okay, so we're going to actually jump into this link, you're going to have this link in your Google Classroom. Make sure y'all make sure you click on uh, enable flash, you might not be able to see this, this might be gray. So you're going to have to two finger click this and then click on enable flash if it doesn't pop up. So once you're here, it's going to do this brain thing. We don't need it. I just explained this stuff. So what you need to do is click skip ahead. And then you're going to click on begin your first assignment. And we're only going to work on the first assignment. You only have to work on the first assignment. So basically what this is, as you're walking home after a late practice, you hear noises and see movement in your front yard. So you're getting home. Some kids are, oh my God, they're teabing your house and your trees, all of a sudden, well, they get scared, they hear something happen and they're running, but you get a decent look at them. Quick, think about it, look at them, oh, that's it, it's gone. The next day, this cop is gonna ask you, well, can you help us find them? Even if you don't wanna help, it's still gonna give you back to help. It's, you're still gonna have to go to the exercise. So make sure you click yes, even if you click no, Again, you're still going to try to help them out. Okay, so what you have to do, I'm going to click continue. 
we're going to use this little device in order to build our sketch. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to show you how to work this. So make sure you click Start Building Suspect Composite. So here's our um, here's our device here. In order to move up and down between, all right, we got to build this face. Well, what's that person's face look like? So you can either click on head and start thinking about, well, how did their head look? Was it more round? Was it more oval? Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Then you can you can look at these. Was it more oval? Was it more square? Was it more rectangle? Do your best. Just again, whatever you remember. In this first round, if you don't get it exactly right, it's okay. Just try your best. So I'm gonna say round. Maybe it was that. All right. If I want to go up and down, let's say I, I remember the eyebrows or the nose better, I can get that first. Um, make sure this is an F. Uh, if you like seeing images better, maybe you can click, click on the right for right brain mode. Remember, that's what artists use. If you like using the words better, like is it oval, round, square, rectangle, then click on the left. I think the full mode is totally fine because it gives you a little bit of both. So the eyes, well, I'm not sure. I'm going to say they're average, right? They're average um, space. And then it's going to give me a couple of these. Mm, let's see. I, I think this one looks good. Eyebrows, I'm going to say thin. I'm just going to go, uh, I don't know. I'm going to go with this one. Nose, I'm going to say short. No, average, maybe. I'm gonna click on this one. That might not be right, but who knows? Lips, I'm gonna say small. Might be that one. And hair, I'm gonna say very short. This one? Okay, kind of looks like the person, I'm not sure. This is the last one, so for the seven miscellaneous, don't click on any. I, for this example, there's none. So now I'm gonna go to this S. And this is so you could submit your composite. It's gonna tell you, oh, is it right or is it wrong? All right, so he's basically said, hey, we looked all over town, but we couldn't find them. <sighs> okay, fine. So we gotta go return to use the PDA. Now I'm gonna have this option up here. It says refresh memory, which, okay. It's gonna tell me, uh, I saw him, okay. I can click it as many times as I want. Let's see, I'm gonna focus on one thing first, the hair. Well, the hair's a little different. So I'm gonna to go to hair. Very short. Let's see, I'm gonna do it again. Hmm, still doesn't seem right. I'm gonna go back up to hair. Remember, you gotta use these arrows to go up. It seems like it's a little longer. Oh, there it is. That seems to match it. Cool, cool. I'm gonna submit it again. It doesn't look exactly right, right? So I can, you're gonna continue to use this process. You're gonna look at this and start changing the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose and the mouth and the jaw in order to match it. So once you get to the right, once you submit it, it's going to tell you, I'm going to submit it one more time. Once it says, oh, you got it, you got it right. What you're going to do now is going to, you're going to take a screenshot, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a bit. Now, let's say you try six times, seven times, and you don't get it. On the seventh time, just go ahead and take that screenshot. Or I think this, this cop will finally tell you, you know what, you tried your best. It's okay. Once you get to that point, take that screenshot too. So you either get it right or the cop just kind of tells you, hey, you've done this enough times. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, we're good. You'll take that screenshot. You might be like, well, Mr. B, how do we take a screenshot? Good question. So you're gonna use these buttons on your Chromebook. The control and the show windows at the same time. You gotta click them at the same time not one after the other at the same time. 
It'll take that screenshot and it's gonna appear in your files. What you're gonna then do, right? I'm just make sure you gotta get on the Arctic Circle. You gotta go to, sorry, you gotta go to Google Classroom, which you should already have open. You gotta go to forensic or Friday electives, your forensic science class. Your assignment, this is not your assignment. This is just an example. But up here on the right, where it says your work, what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on the add button. When you click on the add button, it's gonna pop up something like this. From here, you should click on Google Drive, and then you're gonna attach that screenshot that you took. Again, that screenshot is gonna tell you that you got it correct, that you got the right uh, sketch, or it's gonna say, hey, you tried enough times, you know what? you're good. Okay. So those two things, if it doesn't say those two things, you're not going to get full credit. So you either got to correct or you tried enough times to where the cop gives up on you. You'll notice it says something different and it'll tell you to go to the next assignment. Okay. If you have any questions on this, please let me know, email me, um, have fun with this and good luck. Okay. This, this is pretty good. It took me about six, seven minutes. I expect y'all to take you a little bit longer. I already had done it. That's why it took me so, it was so quick, but I'm sure y'all will figure it out. Okay. All right. Let me know if you need anything and good luck, forensic scientists.